uh, he was slightly frustrated by kind of your your past comments uh, suggesting that maybe in the build up to the Usyk fight in the final few rounds he'd lost the fight mentally. Um, he, he said that you know you had a lot to say which kind of baffled him. I was wondering to get your thoughts on his reaction to some of your comments and you know that that side of things. Well, you know what? Obviously, a fighter in the ring is, is always is always going to be uh, you know challenged. Uh, by so many things that people could say uh, after the fight. Uh, you know what? Just because I was his trainer doesn't mean I'm going to lie about it. You know, I wasn't the only one that said that. And then he should be mad and he should be frustrated with the whole world because mostly everybody said the same thing. You know, when 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 you have a fighter and, and you know, just so good in one round, which almost, you're almost about to stop your opponent, you know, uh, it does make a big difference when, when the next round is totally the opposite, you know, so so there was a lot to be said by, by so many boxing people, uh, you know, uh, so many, so many boxing experts, because I'm not the only one that said that, you know, and then what happened after the fight when he grabbed the mic and all that, I think that was a lot of frustration. I think that was, uh, that had to do with, with maybe knowing that you were so close and you let it go. Maybe, maybe a little bit of embarrassment. Maybe. And this is the continued video that I promised you. This is actually two of three of Robert Garcia and his response to Anthony Joshua being frustrated with the things that he had to say. Shout out to ID Boxing, first of all. Um, it was a very detailed interview with Robert Garcia, and he pretty much told all, <clears throat> everything that he probably could, you know, say. Um, and his response was like, well, hey, if I'm the only one, I wasn't the only one that said that about Anthony Joshua. OK, now let me give you the pros and the cons. All right. The yin and the yang. OK, yes. Counterpunching Robert Garcia. He is right. A lot of people said that he was mentally not there or, or mentally broken or mentally disturbed or mentally challenged or mentally something that dealt with his psyche. OK, now. <clears throat> that's people that said that not your own coach. Not if you planned on doing more with that particular fighter. Because it seems like to me, Robert Garcia talked about Anthony Joshua as though he expected Anthony Joshua to fire him. It's like one of those things when you break up with somebody, you tell them the most awful things that you could possibly tell them because you know they're not coming back. You don't have to face the music or be responsible for the words that you've said. You know, it's almost like I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you react because you won't be around anyway, you know? So I think that's what that was um, with Robert Garcia and mentioning, you know, he wasn't the only one. Yes, but you were his coach. Okay. And other people can have that opinion about him, you know? And for all we know, really, when Robert Garcia said that, Sent from round 10, he was already mentally broken. He looked mentally defeated. Then you, when you say stuff like that, I mean, it just shows you that, you know, I don't know, because we don't know if they didn't get that from him. You know, because a lot of people, especially like the AJ haters, <clears throat> and you guys know who you are. If you didn't like Anthony Joshua, then you're not going to like him now. You know what I mean? And, you know, I mean, if someone on his side says something like that against him, that just gives them more fuel. That gives them more fuel to hate or more people to have an opinion about someone that's close to AJ in his camp. OK, now, to be fair, though, uh, he did add the throwing the belts out of the ring. Yes, that's frustration versus mentally broken. Those are two different things, because for one. Um, mentally broken or mentally defeated rather is a different thing from being frustrated to that magnitude. You know, I got that in for, you know, that, uh, frustration begets, right. Um, it begets, um, disappointment, you know, 
And I think he did have a meltdown. Because, you know, losing back-to-back for AJ, you got to think about it. You got a guy from went, went from one loss to two losses now to two losses to three losses. You know. <clears throat> but, no, that didn't help Anthony Joshua with the mental bid. I admit that. But, again, <clears throat> saying that about AJ, that you were training, you know, it just shows you, like, some things you say, some things you don't. You know, because it was almost like they already fell out. Like, Triple G and Abel Sanchez will probably never talk again. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is not that situation. And Anthony Joshua, you know, of course, um, showed his frustration towards Robert Garcia. But then Robert, this is his um, way of shooting back at Anthony Joshua. <clears throat> and you guys tell me what you think about this video. We have one more. Um, that discusses other things within the camp. So stay tuned for that. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.